This is a video for an origami snake. The first step for the origami snake is a diagonal fold. So go ahead and start with the white side up and we're gonna fold one corner to the other and make sure it's nice and precise. We wanna be as exact as we can. Get those to line up right there, slide your finger down, lock it in place and leave it nice and flat and then fold it over to one side and then all the way over to the other side. And then open that back up. After we've got a nice diagonal fold, we're gonna go with a kite fold. So the kite fold, we're gonna take this outside edge right here and this outside edge right here. We're gonna fold both of those into the middle. So they're gonna line up right on that crease that we already made. So you can see how this one fits right on that crease. It's gonna make a nice sharp point at the bottom. We do that on both sides. Right like this, like that. Next. We're gonna fold the top parts down. We're gonna do the exact same fold on the other side. So right here, this is gonna fold down. And then right there, these are two more of the kite folds. See how those equal out, just like that. Now, we're gonna thin one more time. We're gonna pick one of the sides and we're gonna thin one more time with another kite fold. So right here, and fold that down. And then one more right there to thin that down. Now, this right here is gonna be the regular base that we have for the snake. What we wanna do is we wanna fold it in half. Fold it in half, just like that. So we're gonna use the front part right here. This is gonna be the, the head of the snake, and this is gonna be the tail all the way down to the edge here. So what we want is we're gonna make a series of pleats. So go ahead and take the paper and we're gonna fold it up and over for a head. When we do this, these are preliminary folds. So they're not actually gonna be folded that way and stay that way. We're just gonna use it so that we can make those creases right there so we can use those later. So what's gonna happen, go ahead and open the model back up to right here and you can see those V's that we made that's where those preliminary creases are. What's gonna happen here is we're gonna close it back up, but this time pushing this in the middle. So this is called an inside reverse fold. So I'll show you this from a few, few different angles. We're gonna push it up from the bottom and it's gonna reverse this spine right here, which is right now a valley fold. You see how it makes a nice little valley. When we push this up right here, it's gonna reverse and now it's gonna become a mountain fold where it sort of points up that way. So we push it under that way. And then the same thing over here, we're gonna push this down and that's gonna give us the head, the head of the snake right there. I like to make a little fold right here so it doesn't have such a pointy nose for the snake. Just sort of fold that backwards inside and that gives it more of a blunted head. Now there's a few different things you can do now with the snake. If you wanted, you could even curl the tail like this, you could curl it around and that could be your snake, that could be the entire tail. Or you could even make another series of pleat folds uh, and inside reverse folds. So you could fold it up and fold it back down like this all the way down the model. And I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna fold these up and down just like this, like that. And now once we open it up, we do that same thing where we make these inside reverse folds. So it comes up like this and then back down and then back up and back down all the way down the model. And once we have that, that's another way to make a nice tail for the origami snake.